power and alignment. 11-11, watch it work. 7-7-7, seven, seven, seven. watch it work. 11-11, watch it work. Okay. <laughs> Y'all already know. I always love, like, phenomenal heaven. So, I really, like, spirit really came in. I was doing my yoga and just in my space and what I personally have done and everybody's journey is different though with beautiful souls that are willing to share their juice the fruit they bear share the fruit baby so with that being said 11 11 and how literally our frequency beautiful souls are speaking about this and the truths in it especially when we're talking about our saliva exchanges and energy exchanges with beautiful souls souls call them relationships personally call them companionships partnerships business ships because when it comes to a relationship it's a it's a relation or being related and interesting enough is divine when we understand how to suffix and prefix these words and spells hmm. so with that being said that's deep when you uh <laughs> as us came in strong with that when you when you lay with stupid you feel the energy of stupid when you lay with vengeance, gossip, zeal, lust, patriarchy energy, 212, all of this adds up. So that's why I like to literally understand when beautiful souls get out of a companionship or situationship to literally spend time with yourself, really feel yourself. Feel your body. You know who you are. Like, that's the divineness of it all. And in the midst of the spiritual warfare and why chosen ones is at an all-time high now. All this adds up. And the difference, and yet still the same when we're talking about STDs. A sexually transmitted diseasement or sexually transmitted demon I ain't gonna sugarcoat it y'all already know this y'all should already know this by now when it comes to my page and oh y'all I feel it so much has been lifted and removed when you stay true to you and keep it 100 while you doing it. Mm, mm, mm. I'll tell you, 333, Ashe. It makes the doppelgangers and copy and paste frequency stand out the most. It's like I said, we aren't here for the revelated time loops again. We didn't come here to be in revelated times that long. That's why the ancestors came, shut it down. You heard Nibiru at an all-time high these past few months, beautiful souls. This is deep. This is deep. We talking about our ascensions. Doing the work. You doing the work. Not you doing the European version and doing spells to manipulate a stolen legacy as if it's your own. Are we ready to talk about it? So yeah, this deep, we're talking about chosen ones and there's, it's unstoppable. You can't stop it. That's deep. Who said something was wrong with you? You gotta look at it. Our fathers, fathers, and the ones before them were paving the way. As you heal and remove energy from your ancestors, baby. That allows them to come in, step in, and show out. Mm. 
and that's that's a little more classified and exclusive. I will give the details, but Spirit said don't do that one for the simple fact is that's for uh, paid clients and customers that are willing to do the work and go deep, 515. So when we're talking about, like I said, I do this, celestial quantum healing and basic quantum healing, where celestial quantum healing will we'll tap into the kingdoms of the other worlds and just normal quantum healing this is where we're going to all your timelines helping you heal these soul fragments bringing all these soul fragments back to you in your space so when beautiful souls have a lot of soul fragments with them already and they're as one did your shadow work all of that boom you can go to the celestial quantum healing where you can tap into the kingdoms of the other worlds 555 so that way you're knowing star seed for star seed. That's another reason why I do natal chart readings and calculations, Kabbalah astrology as well as Yoruba astrology, where each bracket going down tells a specific timeline with each number, just like your name. Your name calculates to numbers, which you have a soul urge number, a soul expression number. All these are natural components for the soul. I'll show you so. With that being said, this, this one clip right here is literally when you're in a companionship or a relationship and being aware, truly being aware. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't been with, and it's an honor, an honor to Olokun to be in certain situationships and companionships, even for ones that say they're healers. And for ones that, you know, say there's something and get around a healer, now they're a healer, like doppelganger type of frequency. So I've, I've seen it all, beautiful souls, and and not enough. I say that, ooh, came through strong. And that's what I love about the unknown and embracing the mysteries of life and the fruit it gives you every single time. When you understand that, yeah, of course it's traumatizing or it's hurtful or painful when you're going through these experiences. But through it all, you see the divine, divinely reciprocated lessons at hand. Mm -hmm. We can go into detail for detail about that, but you know, I <laughs> want to keep it um, um, the main topic at hand is the law of not caring, too. Is you know who you are. You know where you stand. So with that being said, just literally being aware when beautiful souls are being possessed or when they're allowing other energies to come into their vessels. 808. When other things are coming in their vessels and they're playing host to these different vibrations, frequencies, and energies right in your presence and then shake it off and did I, did I just say something? What'd I say? Don't even, like I said, I've put this in the clip before. Don't even recall the past 5 to 15 minutes of their lives. So, all this adds up even with daydreaming. is a superpower. We, I've talked about this. This is back to the basics. When we're talking about how powerful we truly are, and not to keep bypassing your superpowers in this matrix when you are to use them to create your own reality. That's the secret. Everybody's like, here's the fruit to the secrets. Uh, it, you're, you're the secret. You're the holy grail. Hmm. So that, that goes back to the 144. All the content I've put, beautiful souls, these divine channel messages of sacred knowledge, the 144 is the all. We are all chosen ones. That 144 is 144 DNA strands all the way to the Messiah consciousness. Like this is, it's not a game. And with pure love at its purest frequency, who am I to tell you it's just 144,000 chosen ones individually. 944 individually oh and what i love about 944 is break it down 333 portal 44 mm. so i understand these this time ain't numbers and 1001 
as above, so below. Time is not yet time. Divine messages, portals, ley lines, ashe, nodal points. That's divine too when we're talking about nodal points. Like I said, when you're in a meditative state, to literally see the grid. You know, that same grid you was in school with and you was drawing them graphs with, coloring. See the grids. See the nodal points. So, green, orange, red, purple, blue, all the colors. Boom, shh. Like a fish hook. Pow, pow. Like a man to the nodal points and the energy grids. Send it out, love. You know, it's law. It is law for it to come back. I talk about these sacred teachings because this is this is what we did in the mystery schools. We didn't do nothing where it was on another beautiful soul. That's why I talk about that revelated. It's in the Bible, revelations. That revelated time loop. Some didn't even experience it frequency was too high to even not in my movie <laughs> and certain ones were pulled into it due to spell work curses and hexes for beautiful souls oh she is she is strong she is of power she is an angel one like I said beautiful souls will do spell work or or call Far upon the lands, go to a bush doctor, go all the way back to Afura and pay somebody for your Akashic records when they don't even know their own. That's a possession. I mean, let's sit down, sit down, 12 12, sit down. Let's talk about this, let's talk about it. For someone to literally do spell work on somebody else, that's a possession. You're being possessed. Because for what? Pure love? You gonna do that spell? Let me. He gonna spell work right here. Self love. Drinking cucumber, lemon. I bought some rosemary water. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's spell work. Self love. Just a prime example. Of components. Let me say, let me let me let me give y'all another one. And this is some unity self-love right here. Y'all already know my motion, I'm gonna hit it five times. Atsi, Shuk, Mache, Namaste, 1313. Y'all know that's mine. 1313 self love on us ourselves self the body the vessel the soul huh so where did it come where we doing it on everybody else doing it on somebody else for my I gotta get some abundance coming in so let me do some spell work on somebody else that's a whole witch, uh, uh, a dark witch, wizard, warlock. I like I said, I've given the list of them. They, <laughs> cause they was coming in, but just don't know, cloaked and blocked, just looking at them for who they are, and then bend and they bow to your command at your purest frequencies. It's like some aren't truly understanding that when we're talking about an uh, ancient cultural heritage of divine melanated beings truly not understanding this part right here and why they're in this time loop and in the knowing don't allow your soul mission and your soul purpose to be at the end of its depths to distract another chosen that's the time loop at hand, especially in the revelated time. Beautiful souls have created a soul mission and soul purpose to bind themselves 
to a chosen one. Distract themselves. And by distracting themselves, doing spells, curses, hexes, rituals, ceremonies, seances on chosen ones and not for themselves. That is a possession. And to understand that's deep. When we, and now we now let's come on now. Let's talk about it when we're talking about chosen ones, baby. To talk about your gatekeeper. Where are you pulling from? Are you pulling from the north, the south, the east, the west, or the vine, etheric center of the underworld? What are you pulling from, baby? Since you know what you're talking about. These doppelgangers is out here at an all-time high. What are you pulling from to be possessed? Because if you're possessed, baby, you pulling on yourself. Hmm? 16, 16. My shade. So with that being said, are we ready to talk about it? That's deep, y'all. That's deep. So this one, the channel message for beautiful souls that have been in relationships and companionships. And you know, you know, she was a psychic medium, beacon of light, or witch. You, you know this. She say she do spell work. So with that being said, are you going to do righteous by this earth angel? Hmm? Or are you going to allow yourself to be possessed by these low vibrations, frequencies, and energies that keep pulling you from your highest version of yourself? Are we ready to talk about it? sugarcoat it with you speak my truth my truth is abundance I flow in speaking my truth in the knowing that my truth is divinely abundant hmm all this adds up so yeah I got them on my page I didn't have them on my page too that I'll say they wanted me to switch that up they're not on here anymore that's why a lot of stuff's been lifted and removed a lot of doppelgangers, people all across the globe, China, Korea, even celebrities, celebrities will literally copy and paste chosen one stuff as if it's their own. All this add up. This is not a game during this uh, spiritual warfare and for beautiful souls that ascend to see it for what it is. <laughs> so, that's deep. I just wanted to put this on here for beautiful souls to... Literally start flexing with your superpowers. You use them every day. Every day. Some beautiful souls not even knowing it's a superpower because they've just been so busy using it. It's just a normal ability. You wanted me to word it just like that. <laughs> and that's deep. Like, I've I seen OGs put, put on fingernail polish in the dark. Ain't nothing on the skin. Seeing. Clearly. In the dark. So just understand me when I'm saying this. When you can see and paint fingernail polish in the dark. When you close your eyes to that darkness. In your space. In a meditative state. What can you see? Because you can already see in the dark. 1919. They coming in and they coming in hot. But I just I just wanted to put this one on here. Y'all. To speak about it. It's an honor to talk about these things. And to help beautiful souls remove the energy. Being aware of how succulent beautiful souls can be as if they're standing in their power though they've been harnessing and harvesting beautiful souls power and making it look like 
they're chosen ones and very powerful beings. Put that on my content as well. DMT entities, their minions, all low vibration frequencies and energies, and their children. Like I said, this is deep when we're talking about this, Doc. You ain't gonna get this from no doppelganger. This real deal talk, baby. When we're talking about these schools that you take your children to, but when we're talking about the spiritual realms, what you think schools they go to? What you think they learning at these schools, baby? When they come to you being a god and goddess that you are and the vibrations, frequencies, and energies that you carry from birth. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, I said, all that, all this adds up, and it's an honor to bear the fruit and share it to the horizons when it's definitely divine time. So, change it, switch it up, and you definitely want to sit that for and just change it, switch it up. No matter what your ex say, put it at the beginning of this. Who says something wrong with you? Because at the end of the day, hurt people gonna hurt people. And hurt people only hurt people if they don't want to heal it. And it gets painfuler and painfuler. More pain on top of more pain from suppressing it. Like I said, I put that on some content uh, down my page too. That's deep too when we're talking about healers that literally have suppressed their shadow work and you see it on autopilot in their subconscious programs. Acting like a healer throughout the day. But every every few minutes, I don't know. That's a that's a, that's a that's a hole. I don't know what you you see the possession because of the subconscious programs being on autopilot. Hmm. So that be another reason why they don't like chosen ones, baby. We see it. We see it. I see it. Okay. I understand your healer, darling. I truly understand that. And I love it about you, because that's the thing about the 144 strand. We are all healers here in Aquarian season to heal and ascend. So, yes, I understand that. But you ain't for this. <laughs> and that whole demon slayer, you was not going to sit up in front of me like I don't see this flowing in your vessel. And would have the audacity to project it and just don't know it bow as soon as it come in your face. the thing about pure love when you and what they call the devil or Lucifer when you're carrying a frequency of pure love baby huh not a game bend and bow at your command I didn't come here for the low vibrational aspects Came here to watch them bend and bow and no longer go in vessels. That's what our supreme legacy is about, master magicians, gods and goddesses. Come on now. We ready to talk about it. So yeah, of course. Don't get it in. Y'all already know. It's love, light, nominal healing. Peace.